Hey now everybody, uh, today I want to show you my poor man's beer gun. Uh, this is a video I've shot before, it was with Craft Brewing and I was never super happy with that video so I just want to show you uh, again today how I like to uh, bottle small runs of beer. Today I am just bottling up uh, six bottles, uh, three each of two different uh, types of beer just for a, a small homebrew competition that's going on and I want to show you this extremely inexpensive and yet very very effective bottling gun. Now I do have a Blickman beer gun and it's awesome. It's really good for uh, larger beer runs or if I'm dealing with uh, a still liquid like a mead or something like that. Um, and it's really nice because you can CO2 purge and stuff like that. But it is a bit of a hassle to set up and you got to clean it and do all that stuff afterwards. Um, this is really quick um, and it doesn't cost really any money. All that it takes to build is just a small piece of a racking cane, just a plastic racking cane that I just cut off um, somewhere around, I don't know, 16 inches or so long. Uh, the bottom I cut off just with a hacksaw on a 45 and just kind of uh, filed it off so it's smooth. Um, you just need a small drilled stopper. Uh, I don't know what number this was. It was maybe a two or a three or something like that. I can't remember. But it's small enough that it fits uh, really well just inside um, a beer bottle opening and it can seal it when you get it all the way in. So go based on that. Uh, just a small section of silicone tubing and a hose clamp. That's all. So just for a few bucks, because um, you probably have one of these rack and canes uh, kicking around and if you've got an extra one, just snip a little bit off here and you're good to go. Um, it just attaches to a picnic tap. As you can see here, this particular picnic tap, I'm using a uh, Medigas line, which is awesome. Uh, if you're able to get your hands on some from like a local medical supply store or, woo, or even online, um, it provides a whole lot of really great restriction so that um, it makes bottling even easier. I've actually got a bunch of these that I'm going to wind up switching out um, in my bar just because I think that'll make for uh, a really clean uh, flow on that. So anyway, I'm just going to grab everything I need here and just in a second we will be uh, set up. Alright, so all I need to do for actually uh, setting up here other than having my um, capper and uh, caps and bottles all star sand and ready to go, this is all at the right height, is simply my star sand spray bottle. And um, the first thing I'm going to sanitize though, just so that I don't forget, is the actual picnic cap. Um, this line of course was, was already uh, sanitized um, and I've got uh, beer flowing through there right now. And then I need to sanitize this. So my quick way to do that is just to spray a bunch through here, slightly rotating it around. It's like what I do for my racking canes when I pressure rack beers and what have you. There we go. Ah, this wasn't quite properly primed. All right, so the inside of that is all done. I'm also going to spray down, I usually do this over the sink, but just for the ease of the video, I'll do this here. Um, slide that stopper around, make sure everything's all nice and sanitized. And I'm going to wait the requisite 30 to 60 seconds here for this to take effect. And when I come back, we will... Uh, actually go ahead and bottle. Okay, so um, everything's nice and sanitized here. All I did was just kind of pop the, uh, slide the silicone over top of the picnic tap. And the first step now is I'm just going to purge some of this beer out into here just to help chill down that line. And then I'm going to do this. Now this is a little bit more highly carbonated of a uh, blackberry porter so I'm just going to have it in this bucket in case I need to let a little bit of foam run out and that way I'm not making a big mess oh but as you can see here it's not gonna be an issue just like that and number two and this two liter pitcher behind me over there um, I have that sanitized so that because I'm actually doing all the work myself here because my daughter can't very well cap as well as run video um, that there is sanitized so I can set the beer gun into it in between uh, little sessions here. So anyway, let's top that up a little bit more. Good to go. And just quickly cap. So there's one. And there is the second. So as you can see, that's uh, super quick. A really easy way, extremely cheap um, method of uh, bottling beer. Um, maybe I'll give this a whirl here on another uh, another style, just a sec. Okay, so in between these, I, uh, I actually purged this line with star sand and then ran a little bit of the amber ale that I'm about to be bottling into here again, just to help chill down the actual gas line. So again, just a little bit purge here to chill down 
that racking cane, get this into here, tuck it down, starting to bottle, and then as pressure builds and it slows down in there, I'm just popping that pressure, letting it come up. As you can see, just like so. Right about there, letting go of the picnic tap. Awesome. Just quickly do all three of these here while I'm at it. Yeah, this works super well. The only thing is if you're bottling an entire batch of beer, I find by the end of it, uh, my left thumb is seriously cramped up just because of the pressure it's trying to apply. But for these small, small runs and for the extremely easy cleanup of just popping off the silicone, running some water through it. If I've got some stuff PBW and I can just toss it in the bucket with that. Um, it's extremely simple. There we go. Just a little bit of a top up on these. Beautiful. And time for some quick tapping. And then afterwards I can just rinse off the bottles for any of them that have the little bit of beer coming down the sides there. Got to remember to keep these separate <laughs> so I don't mix them up. There we go. Beautiful. Done. Easy peasy. And now I can just detach that. And this gets a, a quick rinse out and maybe a PBW and it's done. So yeah, folks, there you are. The poor man's beer gun. Uh, for a few dollars, you can make something that very easily and quickly uh, can bottle up your beer with minimal, uh, minimal hassle. So yeah, there you are. Until next time. Keep it at 11.